Hey guys, I am Heather Marzigliano from Grace on Broadway and Grace on Designs and HP Distributions, which is where we're at here. So last week we, well two weeks now, we've been working on it for two weeks. We have a silverware box and it's falling open on me. We painted it, remember this guy. So this is Country Chic's, let me make sure, it's the Lazy Linen. Remember we did Lazy Linen? And then we put Serendipity on top. And then we painted our stripes with Ooh La La, also Country Chic, because last month was Country Chic month. So we're just finishing up that project today. And then we took our Ooh La La stripes and we added Lucky Penny. How funny, fun is that? Right, I'm loving that. So now that we have our serendipity, we have our striping, we have our Lucky Penny, we run around all of these edges with Lucky Penny too. So now we have the front. So what I did also just for the front to see is I kind of ran a beaded line right here with the ooh -la -la. And what I want to do is I have a pair of would you bends. I feel like a waitress right now, right? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this is, the set is 1304. And I want to put them like one there and one there. Just like a little extra scroll work. And I know we're gonna end up having like two scrolls, but I still think it'll be better than nothing because this one is so flat here. So let's just add some more. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So what we're gonna do first, because I know for sure that I want them to be in the ooh la la pink. So I'm just gonna take them right here and we're gonna give them a quick coat of paint first. Now you could put your would you bend on, painted or unpainted, so you can, it's whatever is easier. Now, because I want these to be a different color than what's on the box currently, it's easier for me to go ahead and get them painted prior. Now that it's painted, we need to heat them up, okay? For good adhesion and for right here, we wanna put it over this. We really want it to be pliable. And would you bend when you get it? It's brittle and hard, okay? Now this could be fragile. It's gonna break if you try to bend it or do anything. Hey, Rebecca. Um, but when you heat them up, they do become pliable. You can use a blow dryer, you can use a heat gun, and you can use a electric griddle. I was going to just use my heat gun, but honestly, since we're gonna put it here, I really want that piece to be as pliable as I can get it. So I'm actually gonna pull my griddle up here. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on like low. You could put uh, foil down if you're gonna let them sit longer. We're only gonna keep it on a few minutes. So let's use our heat gun and dry the paint. This one pretty. Here, look, I'll show you up up close. Here, look how pretty. All right, so that's the one we're gonna put over this. So I just plumped it down on our... Guys, heat guns and electric skillets do their job and they get really hot. So I do want you to be careful if you're using one, okay? So I use regular Gorilla Glue 
Um, it is just the wood glue. It's non-expanding. It dries clear. It holds stuff forever and a day. So I pop my glue open like that. And then what I do is I take, these are like chintzy dollar store, um, like kids craft brushes. I even have them at my shop. I sell them because I use them so much. And this is what I use for my wood glue. Cause then when I'm done, I don't have to feel bad. So listen, look, that's off my griddle. Amazing, right? So we are going to quickly, before this cools down, So look, that's already pretty. Can you guys see it? Here you go. So pretty. Now we're gonna add this side. What do you guys think so far? Right, we're really changing the way the front of this looks, which I'm excited because it was just flat. Now for this one, we wanna go over this. So we really want to make sure it stays and kind of goes over these bends. So I'm going to put the glue on here instead of on it. Because I really want to make sure that I get glue in all the places, okay? And now it's been on the skillet, so it's nice and warmed up. We're going to put it there. The drawers, so I'm gonna pull it open because I want to be able. It's a little bit warm, and I just want to push this down best I can. I'm probably gonna have to take a a knife and cut that back so that the drawer will close. But you see how while it's hot, we're just kind of we're bending this right into that glue and over it. I think we need to add some lucky penny back in because we have this pretty ooh-la-la and lucky penny all over the rest of the box. So I think we really need to kind of incorporate it into the front too. So I have a flat artist brush. Look, it's just tiny and flat. That's pretty. Do you guys see how pretty that is? I'm not gonna add too much more to ours, but it definitely needs some of the Lucky Penny to the front, just to tie the back and the sides to the front. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't burn myself. And now down here, I did the ooh la la but I think the Lucky Penny with it, like a thin, thin Lucky Penny. Let's see. I kind of took over the ooh la la, but I think I'm okay with that because it's here and here. And then the sides have a stripe. So even though this is going a different way than the sides, I, it'll tie it together. And then let's just kind of, let's use our fingers. <laughs> I'm not scared to finger paint. Okay, so, so far, so pretty. I think I have one more plan though. With, will this fit? I can cut it. And we can put a lock. Look, the keyhole. I'm gonna work on the keyhole and see if I have a smaller keyhole. Yes, that's what we need. That's what's missing. All right, I'm gonna find a keyhole. I'm gonna paint it to match the front and then I'm gonna take pictures. And then next week we're gonna have a new project, okay? So I will see you ladies later. Thank you for helping me finish our cool little silverware box and I will see you next Wednesday at 11. All right, bye guys, happy creating.